Hey guys, so just a really quick video today. Um, haven't even straightened my hair for you or anything, but that's fine. Um, I have makeup on, so. Um, just got a little haul for you. Um, I've done a little bit of shopping. I've been really naughty, but I did just get a job, so YOLO. Um, so first off, I went to Countdown um, and I got a couple of things from Collection, uh, which I saw Shan XO talking about. And the main two things I wanted to get that seemed really nice from her video were um, the concealer, um, which is called Lasting Perfection Ultimate Wear Concealer. It says up to 16 hour wear. Eh. I mean, I don't normally have my makeup on for 16 hours probably, but that's fine. But it's really nice um, so far. I have been using this on a little bit for both like under my eyes and blemishes, and I really like it. And it just has a little um, doe foot on it. Yeah, really big fan of this, and it's actually like, I just dropped it on the floor, okay. Um, but it's actually a really good colour for me, which I do sometimes find, um, like it's hard to get a concealer light enough for me, especially like lighter for my under eyes or whatever. The other thing I got um, that I really wanted to get from her video was the mascara. Um, I won't open it just because I'm not using it yet, I've got other ones on the go, don't want it to dry out, but um, it's called the Does It All 5-in-1 Mascara. Um, it says, okay, let me just read off the bottle for you. It says, curling, volumizing, lengthening, long wearing, and conditioning. I have heard from my friend Dana that it can be a little bit hard to get off. Um, but then I'm kind of like, if it's that good, do I really care? We'll see. Um, I'll let you know when I do start using it anyways. Um, and then they had this powder which just looked really nice. Again, it says up to 16 hours wear, but I don't really care about that. So it's also called Lasting Perfection. Um, opens up and it has, if I can do it, has a little mirror and a little sponge. I don't use the sponge, but it's handy having the mirror there. Um, and it feels really like silky and soft, really finely milled. And yeah, so far so good. I haven't used it as foundation. Maybe I'll try that. Lipstick getting all gluggy, how nice. Um, I've just been using it as a finishing powder and yeah, I really like it so far. So, yay. And, you know, they're a supermarket brand, they're a drugstore brand. So they're like pretty cheap. I think the mascara was about 17, no, 14? I think the mascara was about 14. I can't remember the prices of the other things, sorry. <laughs> um, I also got a lipstick from them. Okay, I just have to say, I like to store my lipsticks upside down so I can see, um, like, the name on the bottom so I know what's what. This one, <laughs> can you see, has a slanted top. How annoying. So I need to get one of those, uh, like, lipstick trays that has the little compartment so, you know, it won't fall over. But anyways, the number, um, the lipstick I got, it's number 14, it's called Mango Tango, it's from the Lasting Colour range, because I did see they've got two different types of lipsticks, um, and this one is like a neon, corally, mango-y colour. Um, it's actually really similar, I've worn this a few times, it feels really nice and moisturising. It's really similar to, uh, the MAC lipstick called Vegas Vault, um, but obviously a much cheaper version. <laughs> um, it's a little bit more like of a cream, like wet finish than the Vegas Vault I find. Um, but yeah, whatever you prefer. I really like that one. My friend Dana and I ordered some things from BH Cosmetics. I went a little bit mad with lip products it seems. I didn't mean to. <laughs> um, so I'll start with those. Um, I Okay. So, you might think I have a problem, but I got six lipsticks. Yeah. Whoops. So I got three reds, somehow. Um, <laughs> I got Red Truffle. Now, I haven't used any of these products um, from BH that I'm showing you, but I will put photos and swatches on my blog, and I will do looks with them coming up if you've got any requests for to see any of them in videos please let me know in the comment box down below so this is red truffle it's like a really burnt red yeah like a dark burnt red it looks really nice 
Um, then I have Berry Bite, which Dana has, and I've seen her wear it, and I played with it, and I needed it. <laughs> so it's like that. And the last red I got is called Tiamo, and this is more of a like a bright kind of orangey red. So pretty. Yeah. Oh my gosh, before I keep going, I gotta say, love the packaging. Look at it. Got the writing. It's like smooth, flat top. The color shows. Oh my god, I love it. Alright, then I got a pink called Pop Cultured. Not that you can see that. Looks amazing. I have a few pink lipsticks. Um, not nearly as many red lipsticks. So I'm kind of glad to get that one. It seems... Um, a lot of my lipsticks are like classic, like really hot pink or um, like neon pink. And this seems more, not neutral, but um, just more wearable, I guess, for like every day. Not that I care. Next lipstick I got is called Sweet Mango. And yeah, I compared it to the collection one, which is called Mango Tango. Yeah, Mango Tango. Not the same. So, just trust me. <laughs> it's like, I guess it's got a bit of red in it, but it's, um, yeah. Like an orangey mango. And then I got one called Coral Escape, which is, oh, so beautiful. And again, not the same as Mango Tango, which does look like Baker's Fault, which to me is very coral. This is even more coral. It almost looks neon, which <clears throat> I'm down with. Do these smell? can't smell anything. Alright, so I got two lip glosses. Um, I got this one called Studious, Studios? Studious. Which is just like, kind of a, almost neutrally, let me swatch it, hang on. Oh my god. It doesn't smell too much. Oh, I thought these were going to have a doe foot. Look, they've got a, um, Oops, there's a swatch on my hand, sorry. They've got like a little brush and it's already frayed and I haven't even opened it. Anyways, there's a swatch. Dang, look how pigmented that is. Nice, alright. Maybe so I can live with a frayed brush if these are going to be that good. I mean, these were $2 or two, $3 maybe. Anyways, then I got this hot pink, um, which looks very similar to the pink lipstick I got from them. And this is called Bon Bon. Um, Oh, well, this brush is not frayed. That's good. Anyways, I'll swatch that for you. Wow. I like that. That looks really nice. And I love this packaging. It's so sleek. Yeah. Eyes on the 60s. Sorry, that's reflecting. Um, I got this because I missed out on the Sigma Creme de Couture palette. Um, and my friend Dana pointed out that this has some... Um, similar colours plus more and it does um, so it's got these little holes in it and I was kind of worried like if that plastic thing would come out and you know they get destroyed but when you open it the plastic thing is attached over here which is quite nice um, yeah and then look at all these colours oh my god oh my gosh kind of excited about this too it's duty time love it so I really wanted the Judy Time palette because I'm a big fan of her um, I've seen her use it it looks really nice it looks like something I would use so it looks like this on the inside it has a little plastic thing that comes off such nice colors I'm really excited to use this I actually bought two of these and I'm gonna give one away at some stage I don't know when but somehow so keep an eye out for it so moving on Excuse me. Get comfy everyone. No, it won't be that long. I've only got seven products to go. <sighs> so this is what I've been waiting for the longest. Um, and what I got the most recent as well. Um, so went to Mac and saw my lovely friend Ash, um, who works there. And do you know, I've only got two friends who work at Mac, one here and one in it. America 
They're both called Ashley. Ash. Anyway. What are we talking about? Yeah, they had the aquatic collection out. Came out in New Zealand on Monday. Me and Dana were excited. So, Dana got two pieces. I got six. Um, yeah, I got a problem. Also got, start with this because it's the most boring, a lip pencil um, in this nice corally, coral orange colour. It's called Lasting Sensation. There you go. Um, it is shiny and turquoisey aqua colour um, and it has raised bumps on it to look like water drops. Ugh, so cute. Um, so I got the lipstick called Goddess of the Sea because clearly... <laughs> um, and even the actual packaging. So it's shiny and aqua coloured and bumpy. It feels awesome. Ugh, so in love. So I've not touched any of these products, I haven't played with them, so this is like exciting, although I did cho choose them. So this is like a dark purple colour, really pretty, and I got um, blush because I <sighs> have a blush problem as you know. This one is called Seduced at Sea and it's got the nice bumpy packaging which I'm in love with, let's take the, oh god, dropping everything. So it looks like that. It's an extra dimension um, finish, like oh, formula they all are, all of these products from this line. So this one is called Aphrodite Shell. Really nice colour for pale people like me, <laughs> um, which is why Ash was able to uh, recommend it because she too is pale. Pale Club! I got Silver Sun which is so cute. It's kind of an olivey, greeny, silvery colour. Oh, so good, so good. This eyeshadow is called Fathoms Deep. Oh, it's so nice. It's kind of a really dark gunmetal silver, but like with a purple undertone to it, I find. All right, <laughs> last eyeshadow and last product. Dana also got this one. You guys need to meet Dana. I will put her in a video one day, just like plonk her right here, yeah. Oh god, I can't even open this one. Alright, so this one is called Lorelei, who was one of the mermaids. Oh yeah, that's the other cute thing. Did I say this already? All of these products have really, um, I was going to say cute names, I mean they are cute names, but like, you know, sea themed names, the Aphrodite Shell and... Um, you know, seduced at sea and blah blah blah. So, Lorelei is a mermaid. This is a beautiful colour. This is kind of um, shimmery, bronzy, I almost want to say a rose bronze, like ever so slightly. But anyway, bronzy colour. This is going to be super useful, easy to wear on the lid every day. Super nice, had to get it. And that is everything. Um, if if you have any of these products, let me know what you think. Um, if you have any requests, if you want me to do any tutorials with any of these, um, please leave a comment in the comment section <laughs> down below. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye! I needed them. Just went downstairs to get a drink. My oh, gonna fall out. It's my coughing attack as I made it. <sighs> Spilt it all over the bench and on the floor. <laughs> and now I think I've left my phone downstairs because I can't find it. <sighs> this video has been a bit of a fail to make, let's be honest. Did I call this the lipstick before? Whatever, it's a lip liner. <coughs> Alright, just choking again. <sighs> oh my god. Nice, so uh, I'm gonna go. Yep, play with my new makeup. Okay. Bye!